Hello YouTubers and in this video I'll be showing you how to use and how to program um, this LED strip. It's a WS2812. I will show you the code, I will show you how to individually um, control each and every single LED and I will show you the code for this also and I will show you how it works. Also in the description link in the description I will have links to the LED strip, to the code, uh, to this power supply and even an Arduino so you can get them um, uh, very conveniently. Okay, so first I want to dive in with the schematic. So here's how it's all uh, connected. I have the Arduino pin 3 is connected in series with this 470 ohm resistor to the middle pin or data pin of the LED strip. If your LED strip has four pins, don't worry. Uh, this code will work with it also. Here shortly I'll show you. Um, so the LEDs start with 0 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. So the very first LED is the LED 0 and then 1, 2, 3 keeps going. You'll need a, a power supply big enough to be able to provide uh, 60 milliamps per pixel. So if you have 60 LEDs, you'll need about 3.6 amps of power uh, maximum uh, that, that the LED strip will use. My, uh, my uh, power supply is uh, 10 amps, so it, it's more than enough. Also, they recommend you using a 220 far microfarad capacitor uh, connected between positive and negative of the LED strips, the power going in. I don't have one connected because my power supply is more than able to uh, provide enough current for the LED strip, so I don't have that. Also, very important. Uh, the ground from the Arduino has to be connected with the ground of the LED strip um, because um, bad things happen. So if I have this purple wire going uh, from the ground of the power supply to the ground of the Arduino, if I disconnect it, the LED strip goes wild. So you got to make sure that you have that ground there uh, for stability. Okay, so that's how you would connect everything. Um, now let's get into the code and how the how the everything works so you will need a fast LED library to get this library go to um, sketch include library manage libraries a window will pop up and your uh, search bar here type in fast LED and then I already have it installed just hit more info select the newest version and then click install and it will install it so let me close that and then once you have it installed, go ahead and restart your uh, Arduino IDE and you can paste your code or you can go to File, Examples, scroll all the way down to the Fast LED and then you can, um, you can upload one of these. So let me click on this one. Uh, this one comes with the library. Uh, change this to 12. I have um, 60 LEDs and my LED control pin is 3. <laughs> And um, there's that, and then just hit upload, and it will take a little bit of time, and you have yourself a nice looking code with nice looking colors. Okay, it's finally uploading. <laughs> okay and it's done uploading and here's the rainbow colors and you can see them kinda kinda switching switching out here oh that's a nice little pattern I like that and uh, this LED is pretty bright um, the brightness is set to 64 uh, maximum is 255 so this is like 40% no 30% brightness give or take That's a nice little pattern there. Okay, so so that's how the example code looks like. Let me, uh, nope, I want to save. Let me go back to here. And um, so here's the, my code, and I'll show you in this code how to control the LEDs. Um, just here, uncomment whichever one, whichever one LED strip that you have. In my case, it's this one. You may also need to rearrange these letters. Um, it comes with RGB, but this particular LED strip uh, goes with green, red, and then blue. So you'll have to rearrange those if, if necessary. Then in the loop function, let me go ahead and upload this. 
um, in the loop function, I have it going from uh, these uh, CHSV colors, which are um, hue, saturation, and value. Value is the brightness. So first, what first number is the color, second number is saturation, and the third number is brightness. And uh, 255 saturation is fully saturated, and zero is like fully unsaturated. The brightness is uh, 255 fully on, and then zero fully off. And here's how the color chart works. Let me bring this to screen. So, whoops. So over here we have zero is red, 32 is orange, 64 is yellow, greens around the 96, and it just keeps going and it repeats. So here's the 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 hue chart. And um, you can uh, so you can change the color. So I have zero here. I have red. So first goes red, and then it comes back green. 85. 85 is like somewhere here on the chart. So it's like moderate green. 96 maybe a little more green than that, but about 85 green, and then and then it comes back with 85 green, and it fades all. Okay, on this fade all function. Uh, what it does, it, it scales, depending on how many LEDs you have, um, it scales down the trail. So the trail, if we scroll up to the top, I have it set to 220. And um, so if we make this number, let's say, um, 50, we'll just see what happens. So the trail should be way smaller. Okay, it's uploading. Okay, there you go. And there's a trail of 50, which is about maybe four LEDs on this particular LED strip. If you have bigger LED strips, the trail may be a little bit longer because it's a scale. Um, okay, so let me switch the trail back to 220, and you can make that number anything you want, just depending upon the length of your LED strip. You may need to change that. Okay, so going back down, so this is the loop function, so it, uh, it turns each and every single LED on, and then, and then it fades them um, behind it, and then it turns it off, I mean, turns it on going back a different color, and it fades them behind it. Okay, so to turn on a single LED, I have here some different ways that you can light up the LED. Um, let me comment this so we I will need uh, this part control C control V okay now to light up an LED, you can do it like this. So you can do um, RGB style, which is um, which is this here. So for LED number zero, which is the very first LED, you can do about fifty green, hundred. I mean, sorry, fifty red, hundred green and then 150 blue and this is from 0 to 250 let me write on here from 0 to 255 for all of these so you know LED has uh, three different colors has a, re a red green blue and you're turning on each one at different levels so if we upload this let's say we make red to be um, 0 and we make this blue on to be about 250 and green slightly below it so if we upload this um, we'll just see what color we get okay it's done uploading and we get like a bluish green aqua I mean looks like an aqua color it's mostly blue but it has a tiny bit of green in there and then if we turn the blue off make it a zero this should be like a green it should be green because it's a hundred green but like it'd be like a dim green yeah see like how dim it is and if we put this on full, full blast 
255 says green fully on he'll be way brighter okay see that's a little bit more brighter okay so that's one way that you can control LEDs and you can just change these numbers to whichever LED you want to control now on this example number two you can use the RGB feature so you can put all of this in one line so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to replace this part so here I'm going to put LED 0 and RGB so red is about 50 uh, green is 100 and blue is 150 and we should get like an aqua color or whitish whitish aqua because it's mostly blue yeah like an aquaish kind of hard to see it okay so there's that color also you can use a hex code to light up an LED so control C um, want to replace this control V we want to do LED 0 and this is the hex code for the same color um, the hex codes are located if you scroll through the download of your code here's the link and here's the link to the colors so the hex code let me scroll up to the top as you can see there's lots and lots of colors so the hex value is here so if you want Alice blue it's this color if you want whatever that color that is if you want straight up blue let me copy this let me go to the code and I'm gonna paste it control V so you get this nice uh, blue color okay done uploading and bam we have ourselves the camera doesn't pick up colors really good but this is actually a nice blue color okay so that's how you do that also um, also we have these names we have HTML uh, color names and um, here it is so any color in HTML that is an HTML web color you can just type in and it will be able to display it so I'm gonna copy this part and I'm gonna paste it here so hot pink okay it's uploading and we should be able to see well it's not really hot pink but it's like a looks like a baby pink uh, let's do maybe purple so you can do any of these colors here black uh, blanched almond blue blue violet brown burly wood cadet blue and see we got ourselves a nice looking purple it's kind of hard to see you can do chocolate coral cyan or cayenne uh, dark blue, dark cyan, dark goldenrod, dark gray. Look at all these colors. So you can do any of them in a hex code or in HTML. Um, let me minimize this. And then we have our last example is this um, set RGB value, um, which is the same as this. It just it just sets it, I guess. I don't understand. Um, the difference between them um, but there's there's that so you can you can also control the LEDs like this I guess it minimizes the code maybe a little bit or something maybe oh, oh well but this is a, a fifth way of controlling each color so you can do it like this you can do it with the RGB um, you can do it with the hex code you can do it with an HTML or you can do it like a set RGB or you can do it with a uh, hue, saturation and value. Um, I forgot to put this one on there. Let me copy that. So there's actually 
Control V. There's actually uh, six six ways. Example six. Okay. So I hope you liked the video. I hope it, this helps somebody. Please comment. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them best I can. And um, enjoy your project.